Well, up next, we're going to be joined by a physical therapist from the Twin Cities Orthopedics talking about how to avoid injury while doing yard work. Uh, we're going to be right back. A lot of leaves have already fallen. No doubt you have moved them around. You have bagged them. There's more to come, obviously, for a lot of us in our yards. It's people complaining about having some different kinds of, of uh, uh, pain from doing that. Today we have Twin Cities Orthopedics Therapist Courtney Kovacs here Hi. to help give us a welcome. It's good yes, to have good you to here. Have you. Some you. pointers on some things that you should be doing to avoid having all of that. What kind of symptoms are people complaining about? Yeah, so right now, like throughout the season, we see a lot of back and shoulder injuries, sometimes some forearm tendonitis related to just doing yard work that you don't do very often throughout the year. And kind of repetitive motion repetitive stuff. Motion, and so yep. if you have some underlying things, this even makes it even worse. Exactly. You were saying uh, to me in the break that you uh, recommend some warm up exercise. Why don't you show us some Absolutely. of that, Courtney? Absolutely. So first I would recommend going out for, you know, a five or 10 minute walk, jog, bike ride, um, but just doing some simple stretches like some arm motions like this, kind of across the body, doing some arm circles, um, torso rotations, marching in place, and just doing a few minutes of that. It's dynamic stretching, gets the whole body warmed up. I know a lot of veteran rakers are watching saying, oh, I never quite thought about <laughs> doing that before. Yeah. But that kind of warm up will actually get your muscles sort of loosened up a little bit to be able to do the actual event, right? Exactly. It brings the core temperature up, so it's dynamic stretching versus that static stretching where you would normally hold the stretch. Against all that it's cold movement. muscle. Yep, kind of gets your body warmed up so that you break a little bit of a sweat prior to going out and doing it. So that. that's key. Now, when, when you actually are raking, what do you advise there? Yeah, so, so definitely. You're learning, learning some new things, yeah. no matter if you've been doing this for <laughs> 30 years. Yeah, yeah, so definitely you want to keep the rake close to you. You don't want to try to overreach and bend forward at the waist like I'm doing right now. You want to take a nice staggered stance, a slight bend in the knee, Knees, tall back and keep the rate kind of close to you as you pull the leaves towards you. So that that tendency to try to go you think because exactly. you think you're pulling more at you. Yes, people have large yards. They want to get it done in a short amount of time. So they try yeah. to overreach. They twist their body. So I'm really going to recommend that you just keep the rake in front of you. If you need to turn to do the side, actually turn your full body to do that. And that's where the damage happens. Exactly. You fall or you twist yourself in such a way. So this will be the same thing. You'll be back to talk to us about with snow, I'm sure. Exactly. Shoveling. You take your little smaller bits as you're trying to move it along. Yes, and if you are noticing that you do have an injury, don't let it, yeah. you know, progress. Go ahead and see an orthopedist specialist. And they can help you out. Uh, Courtney Kovacs from Twin Cities Orthopedics. Exactly. Thank you. Today, Thank hoping you. Uh, you're saving some people Thank a lot you. of pain there. We have more information on the subject posted on carolevin.com. Look under the Shows tab in the news at 4.